At the heart of what we do in the College of Visual and Performing Arts and at the Academy is the motto that the arts create community. And I think that Instruments in the Attic is one of the most tangible examples of that that we have. Whether we are putting an instrument in the hand of a deserving student so that they can join the orchestra at their school and be part of that community, or with a lot of help from our friends, uh, refurbish enough instruments to create an orchestra. This program will impact our music ecosystem here in Fairfax and the Washington metropolitan area by bringing instruments to students who may not have them. As we realized and the program started to get bigger as I got more involved, we realized that there was a need to be able to have these instruments fixed. The cost was overwhelming and so that's when I got my husband started um, in fixing the instruments at Day Violins. It was an opportunity for us to, to kind of look at it how are we going to pay it forward, you know, to be able to help other people that need help because we had been helped so much in our life. After being involved with the School of Music at George Mason University for a number of years, it became very clear to me uh, how important it is for, for children, for young people, to have instructions with an instrument. It, it increases their uh, math capabilities, it gives them a sense of, of teamwork, cohesion, they have to perform in front of people. It helps very much with their social development and frankly, to allow them to grow into strong members of the community and successful adults. Instruments in the Attic accepts donations of instruments of all kinds in all conditions and our goal is to recycle them in every way possible with the main focus of getting them into the hands of students and teachers that need them particularly in Title I schools. So that includes band instruments as well as string instruments. One of our newer projects that we've incorporated is called Instrument Gotcha Day. So we accepted a ton of instruments, you know, throughout the past handful of years, and we were able to, through this Gotcha Day event, partner with Mason Student NAFME um, chapter and those students helped us assess the instruments based on their you know playability or repair needs and then we were able to pair hundreds of instruments with teachers in Title I schools who are in need of instruments for their program. I remember going to a middle school down in Prince William County um, a, a few years ago where we delivered a bunch of instruments that we had prepared and looking at some of these kids that were so excited because this was going to be the way that they were going to be able to have um, orchestra class because otherwise they wouldn't because they couldn't afford it. So we're always looking for new instruments and we, and we do need some cash and I want to assure you though that the instruments that are donated here are going to be put to very good use. It will always be accompanied with a teaching experience. It is a fantastic charitable uh, contribution to you and if you have had uh, an experience uh, in your life uh, or your child's life, and you know how valuable that instrument really can be. So today, I'm actually bringing my high school trombone to donate to the program, such that there's a young trombonist somewhere that will be able to enjoy the music that has impacted my life so much in their own careers and futures. We are so grateful for all of the support for this program. If you'd like to donate an instrument or make a financial contribution, please visit our website at masonacademy.org. Thanks.